Happy Thursday. We continue with uh, our study of the first few verses of James, a book that starts in a surprising place. Um, I've argued that it's a great book and a helpful book and that we need to read and study the book. Um, I've been trying to explain why we shouldn't be surprised. Uh, We often think of hard as bad. Yesterday I said hard can actually be very good. Uh, Today I want to make a a different point, one that is perhaps (laughs) remarkably even less popular than the suggestion that life is going to be hard. And that is the statement that we actually deserve hard. Now, um, this is not popular today. Um, Some people don't think it's true. Some people think that we are inherently good. Um, Some people argue theologically that because we've been made in the image of God or because we are adopted and become children of God, that uh, we're children of the King and that we're good. That's not the gospel at all. That's not the message that we get. The Bible says that we're fallen. It says that we're sinners. And it says that we deserve death. Um, Again, these are really harsh statements, but um, they're true and it's helpful if we have uh, an identity that is shaped by reality. In uh, the Gospel of Luke uh, 13, there's a passage in which some people come to Jesus and they ask him sort of a classic statement of the problem of evil. There was a tower that had fallen and a number of people had died and and they ask, you know, what How could God allow this to happen? And Jesus says this incredibly shocking thing. I mean, it's still shocking. I know what it's going to say, and it's still shocking. He basically says, look, uh, don't think that you don't deserve the same. Uh, Unless you repent, that's coming your way. Now, I I really dislike saying things like that, but but it's true, and the truth is helpful. One of the really odd things, and I I think it's odd every year, um, is when it comes to Ash Wednesday and at the end of the service, people are invited up to have ashes, which is a sign of death, spread on their forehead. And uh, I say to those people that are coming forward, remember, uh, you are are dust, and to dust you shall return, right? You're going to die. This is who you are, and you're going to die. We're focused not on redemption. We're focused on sin. And people say, uh, amen, right? Uh, People sort of embrace that. And there's often these, you know, young, cute, adorable kids, uh, grade school kids that are saying, and I say, remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. Uh, And and they affirm that. It's, It's shocking. It's unsettling. But it is true. So let me end with this. The worst things that are said about us are said by God. And the best things that are said about us are said by God. He loves us in spite of who we are. So we don't have to hide who we are. We do need to face who we are. And we need to understand that this world is broken because of our sin. And, uh, but God has a solution for that. So um, we've got one more reflection on the hard stuff and then uh, the week is over. So have a good day.